you know, the Maryland governor just spoke to us moments ago, and he says that a section of the channel has opened, has temporarily opened up. It's only about 11 feet deep, but he did say another section that is going to be 15 feet deep will be opening also in the coming days. Now, you can kind of see behind me that collapsed bridge with several cranes around it, salvage vessels and even barges. And as you mentioned, 377 people have been working throughout the holiday weekend 24-7 on the salvage and recovery mission. Maryland State Police believe four missing construction workers are still entangled in the concrete and debris in the water. $60 million in federal funding has been sent as a down payment to help with the channel cleanup. And over the weekend, the U.S. Coast Guard said they lifted one piece of the bridge out of the water, opening up that small section on the north side of the channel. That piece alone weighed nearly 200 tons and was the size of the Statue of Liberty. This new open section will allow tugboats and barges to get closer to that cargo ship. While officials work on the cleanup, the Port of Baltimore is losing millions every day from this pause ship traffic. So the governor says another crane lift is happening later today. Unified Command has scheduled another lift for later today, pending conditions, specifically pending lightning. And they will be lifting an estimated 350 ton piece from the bridge. The work is moving. The mission continues. Once we are able to get a channel reopened, it can potentially be re reused for commercial assets also. But we've got to get it cleared first. And that's what we're working on. And we are doing this simultaneously as we continue to plan to reopen the deep draft channel. Now you saw some of that video from when Fox was able to get really up close and personal on the barge itself and you saw that piece of the bridge that was on top of it that weighs about three to four thousand tons. Uh, officials did say that they're going to be using the largest crane on the eastern seaboard to lift that. However, they've not set a timeline for when that lift is going to be happening.